Yeah, the Chiefs won. Okay, so let's take a look at this shit. Uh, Final Fantasy Toxics event got moved up. Originally, this was supposed to be something else. Well, as far as uh, the JP schedule went, but we're going to be getting this instead. Uh, and Final Fantasy VI is going to be moved back a week. Um, not much going on here. Uh, we don't get all that much, I believe. Yeah, no new abilities, just uh, a new character in Miliadul. Uh, and she isn't bad at all. Um, she is a combat four, support five, knight five. Uh, basically, right off the bat, we see a uh, almost perfect mimic, other than the white magic five of Minfilia. She was a pretty good Final Fantasy Tactics character. Um, so a support knight, which is an interesting proposition. Uh, get her level 80 stats, but again, I don't like to do that because level 80 doesn't matter at the moment. Let's go take a look at her level 99 stats in comparison to other people of her class. Millie Duel, 6,800 health. I mean, the most direct comparison to her would be uh, Minfilia, 6,825. Uh, same health. 203 to 194 has more attack. Uh, 197 defense. That is actually quite high. Nephilia definitely doesn't come close on that, does she? No, 160. Um, Nephilia might have the defensive advantage, though. Let's see. Or uh, resistance advantage, 149 to 141. So, I mean... A lot of uh, Minfilia's stats are getting funneled out because she's all, like she can actually um, competently heal, at least with single target cures. Uh, so she has a decent mind stat. Uh, but her defenses and her attack, uh, defense, resistance, and attack are not uh, not to Millia dual standards. Yeah, idea. Yeah, it, it is weird for me too. She's on I think two two or three of my Magicite squads. It is very strange, but buffing support fives are like the shit. They are the shit. Alright, so that's what we got for Millie Duel. Uh, her RM is large support damage up. Eh, I use it in submissions when I have to use a character. Hey, Adante. Um, I, I use Ferris's in submissions where I have a support character that doesn't have a soul break or is using a soul break that doesn't do any damage because you know I just want to give them give them something that will increase their effectiveness somehow even just a little yeah it's not a good RM I rarely use it um Millie Duel record dive yeah I, I don't know It's just stats. Stats are fine. Stats is good. And we got some Legend Spheres for Rafa, Malik, and Delita, and Ovelia. God, I got four to go over. Uh, Rafa with the BLK plus? Great. Perfect. That's what you're looking for, because this will affect everything that she does. She gets 9% damage to everything. Um... Can she ninja, or is that just Malik? If she can ninja, then it doesn't matter anyway, because uh, ninja skills do BLK damage. Um, right? Except for the physical ones, which do NIN. No, 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 never mind, sorry. Even the, the magical ninja skills do NIN. Okay, well, ninja 4, then I don't give her really that much of a shit. She's going to be charging her bar with probably witch abilities. Let me see, we got, we got ice and lightning for witch. So she could potentially charge her bar using fire and water and wind because of gust and the two three-star ninja abilities. And you know, I just really don't care, you know? I mean, what's 9% damage for charging abilities? It's a pittance. 
less than a thousand damage. Uh, less than 500. Yeah, it, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, that is a good legend dive. Um, and we haven't touched the legend material yet. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, so finally beat all the nightmares and went into my first magic site and getting shit on. Any tips? Yeah. They're, they're rough. Um, the the tips for Magicite dungeons were more in the preparation uh, in the months before. That's why I ran my uh, my Magicite preparation stream like three months ago, two months ago, um, because it's something you need to prepare for in getting relics. But uh, there are things you can do to find interesting little things. It, yeah, I'm gonna let people in chat answer that because I want to stick to the Final Fantasy Tactics review at the moment. Um, Malik is also Ninja 4, so I guess for the same reasons, BLK damage is exactly what you're looking for for Malik, because that's all he does. Um, Delita, Spellblade damage. Now this is not as good, uh, because this will not affect his Soul Breaks, while BLK will. Uh, effect theirs. Um, and we have... Remember, I went over this on the previous event. Uh, status resist. Double status resist. Good. Double status resist. Good. And double status resist. Less good on Delita. Uh, you'd prefer something more random, like slow or confuse, because blind is so easy to resist. Uh, we have such good major resist items for it. Um... But anyway, Spellblade damage is... It, it works with him. Oh shit, is that a typo? Thanks for bringing that up, Ricky. We'll go check a look. What the hell? Why is it not finding anything? It's Marrick on the right. Uh, it is a typo, Ricky. It is nine percent. Um, yep. So he loses out on some damage from. Having a spell like nine percent, uh, silence, silence again. I, same thing as the Lita. Uh, silence is not that useful because it's so easy to resist. We have major resist items, um, but white magic heal nine percent is good. All right, let's take a look at these religion materials. Medium chance to dual cast lightning abilities. Uh, that's awesome. That's great. Thirty-five percent chance. Uh, oh, we'll take a look at it on here. Who do we got? Uh, Rafa, Malik, Delita, and Obelia. Uh, Thirty-five percent chance of dual cast and ten percent lightning damage dealt. Those are both good. So that's a. It's actually a, a pretty powerful dive. Um, and Malak gets the exact same thing, so that's a pretty powerful dive. Uh, and... Delita and Ovelia, we have 35% chance to dual cast Spellblade. That is good, and it makes his uh, Legend Dive less bad, because that means it shifts a lot of his damage dealt uh, into his abilities instead of his Soul Breaks. Uh, and Spellblade abilities deal an X percentage more, you know, probably 10 or 15 more percent damage so that's uh, also good and works well with this and Ovelia reduces damage taken uh, reduces elemental damage taken by 15% just like realms eh. uh, not really a, not really a powerful dive so Ovelia is not really a dive target Are you giving me another remix I, I don't know. They're, they've lost me. Uh, 
All right, so let's uh, take a look at the relic draw banners. Is Edge wor dive worthy if you only have his BSB? No. I have her BSB. And she's my fifth AT member with that. Yeah, she is a good character. Just not compatible with the way I want to build my team. So let's take a look at the first banner, which is actually a pretty stacked banner uh, as far as powerful breaks or soul breaks go. Um, and right at the top, we get a really powerful one. It is Rafa's USB, and it really is just a USB version of a, a, an existing Super Soul Break, which would be uh, Papalimo's Ley Lines. Party Haste, Magic 30%, and Quick Cast 3. Uh, that's magical, Quick Magical Attacks 3. And the fourth effect that it adds on top of that, and Lightning. No, it is not a Lightning Staff. Uh, it would be noted here with a Superscript. Uh, with like a one. Do we have anything? Yeah, see, we have a uh, four, five. This uh, notes that there is something special about the relic. And I, I usually go take a look at it if I see it. So Rafa's glove, for instance, has a uh, footnote of four. Small lightning resistance. Uh, there is actually no elemental armor on this banner. Um, it's all resistance. No elemental 20% uh, damage up. All right, we have uh, Goku Bowl for Malik, and that is a zero cast time. Random eight single target, random non-elemental lightning, magic, enemy full breakdown, and party magic blink one. Uh, the reason why I would say that this is good is uh, anytime you see zero cast time and magic blink together, you're in a, you're in a good situation. Um, The problem with it is uh, how the game at the moment, at least the, the current meta, has shifted so far away from debuffing that um, it's really just just an instant magic link with some damage. Uh, it's not really it's not really a big deal for Bismarck. Uh, it is the magic link one is nice. Uh, and this would assist in a 60 second clear. But you're really not, uh, I wouldn't count on this at all because Malik doesn't have a very good way to generate soul break. Um, he has access to the three star lightning ninja ability, but that doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. And he doesn't get end lightning or anything. So you could potentially use this and, and chain Thundaga for the entire fight. Uh, it's just not... Yeah, it's not, um... Not a big deal for Magicite. But, uh, it... Outside of Magicite, if you add the full breakdown into the mix, then this actually becomes a, a powerful USB. So, further down the line, this could be, uh, much better than it is. When we start getting real fights that aren't Magicite dungeons again. Uh, so next up, after the USBs, we have Rafa, Malik, and Millie Duel's BSBs. Uh, Rafa's all of these, all of this is old, except for Millie Duel's. Um, Rafa's is well known. It's uh, kind of a counterpart to Sid Reigns. Uh, obviously, yeah, I, we're just playing the same song, different versions all over again. Um, so, this is just a good BSB. Uh, definitely not as good as Sid's because Sid has Wrath access and Memento Mori access, but still good. Uh, eight single target, lightning, uh, random lightning. Uh, party magic and resistance plus 30%. Uh, really is the exact same thing as Sid Reigns except uh, magic resistance instead of magic defense. I, I want to pull on phase two and that's why I would have preferred to get Edge's USB. Uh, this was always on the schedule. 
All right, so let's take a look at our burst commands and we find uh, another nice benefit. And their second command is the t one of those typical uh, stitch in time commands that give her 30% magic and minus 30% defense. Um, but the first command is where it really kind of shines a bit. It's uh, is an ally, Kiraga. And she has a respectable amount of mind, so it's actually kind of nice. Um, so there's, there's two sides of this coin. And you kind of want damage output on uh, Magicite teams because you want to get, you know, lower clears or clear at all. If you're looking to, to clear Magicite, this is like a super powered relic for that. Just, uh, no, no, I did not Raccoon. I just got a three star. Um... So this would be awesome against Bismarck for a 60 second clear, or even further. And in a certain situation, this would be awesome for a 30 second clear, because that heal could potentially uh, carry your team and allow you to rely less on healing elsewhere and deal more damage. So if this, if this heal is allowing you to deal more damage in some way, then yes, it could really... Um, contribute to a 30 second clear uh, but if you're just using it for the damage output then no this is actually kind of a detriment more than a, more than a plus I've chosen to build my party uh, 60 is Kira yeah you're right Kira um, I've chosen to build my party with uh, in a legend dive Ishtola who has no problem healing basically everything ever um, so adding more healing to the party instead of more damage, say take, uh, Desh's BSB for instance, um, is much better for my team because it's more focused on dealing damage rather than healing the party and, you know, doing support. Um, so this would actually just be... non-instant cast version, um, non-instant cast and magical version of Vaughn's BSB. Uh, there's, you know, there's a, the key there is that it's non-instant cast and there is an existing version of this. Because he's kind of a ninja guy, I don't know. Uh, he has short cast time, which means half cast.
changes the way this banner is made up because so much of this banner is dedicated to uh, Malak and Milia Duel, which are heavy debuffers. Uh, Malak's BSB, Milia Duel's BSB, uh, Malak's USB. Um, and this is profoundly a non Magisite banner. This is uh, not where you want to be looking if you want to strengthen your Magisite teams. There are good things on the banner for that, and uh, that would pretty much just be Rafa's USB, uh, Rafa's BSB, Rafa's LMR. Um... Yeah, and that's it. Uh, but everything else is kind of uh, away from that. Uh, let me see. So I'll take a look at the uh, Ledger Materia now. So anyway, I actually want to take a look at this. Outside of Magisite, this is actually a pretty good BSB. Um, and I would like it. I, I, th I hear a lot of people calling her an Earth Knight, though, which I think is misleading. Because when you think of that... You think, well, this character is a good elemental character for this element. And, you know, where that conversation leads, it, it leads into Magisite. And no, she's actually really bad in Magisite. Because she only just does earth damage. Just doing earth damage is not enough. Now, as we've seen with the difficulty of Magisite damage, or dungeons, and something I've been trying to emphasize for a very long time, that just doing the element isn't enough. It needs to be well done. <laughs> you need to be exceptional, or at least passable, uh, like, Tifa with her old-ass BSB for Earth is better than this for Magicide, because the attack and defense debuff just means nothing here, but Tifa gets an Earth, so she gets plus 50% Earth damage, and plus 80% when she recasts her burst. It's, uh, it's easily twice as good as this. Um, this is just too weak. It's too weak. So it's not really... It's This is a support BSB. This is very a support support BSB uh, that just does Earth damage. That's like calling Irvin, uh, well, prior to the new Final Fantasy of, uh, 8 event in, um, in Japan right now. Uh, it's like calling Irvin uh, a fire character because his BSB did fire damage. So it's uh Yeah. Well we got two LMRs here, so let's take a look at them. Uh Rafa's Glove and Malik's model. Uh they're both lightning resistance. Um Relics. Uh Sky Mantra Heritage. Medium chance to self quick cast when using lightning el uh, element damage abilities. Now this is interesting. And this is why Rafa on this banner is actually a really proficient character in Magicite Dungeons. Because uh, remember, we took a look at her LM2 and that she has 35% chance of dual cast. And she has this. So she has like two chances every time you dual cast to proc this. Um, and she, what's beautiful about this is that she doesn't have quick casting. So it actually does shave a significant chunk of cast time. And remember, you're really helped out uh, considerably by casting her Command 1 because it has that cure attached to it. If you can get Rafa at, at, like attacking quick enough uh, once her BSB is active, she can be a powerful healer on the team because she just does it so often. Um, and that that is effective in Magicite, as long as you have the team that can take advantage of it. Like, a more offensive focused healer instead of a more healing focused healer. Say, like, I, I brought this up with my Ishtola. My Ishtola is a healing healer. Uh, she doesn't do anything to help out the team otherwise. She just protects you. But there are others, very powerful white mages, like two right off the bat, uh, Realm and Aphmau, who really pump up your team uh, with their, their ability to give your team instant cast. Uh, and they don't heal as well as Ishtola. So, if you're going to be using a, like, a buffing, like, uh, utility healer like one of those, uh, often, you know, sometimes they just can't, they can't live up, they can't, uh, 
keep up, keep up with the healing in some fights. But here's where Rafa shines on those teams because Rafa says, you know what, any slack that you don't get, I've got. So that's uh. And, and what's really nice is everything about Rafa points towards this. Her USB, her BSB, uh, her LMR, her great legend dive. She's really just a, a powerful and excellent character. Uh, and Malik starts battle with N Lightning. Good. It's good. Uh, I guess this kind of means if you're using N Lightning, you're going to want to be using. I guess you could make do. Like, plus 50% lightning damage with. Uh, Swift Bolt, the three-star ninja ability. Oh, Rafa's LMR is definitely better than our nine. I'm just trying to find, like, a bright spot of this one. I think uh, plus 50% lightning damage works really well with ninja abilities. So he could potentially, I mean, starting out with N Lightning, uh, do a, a fair bit of damage while charging up his, uh, his BSB or USB. It's not... It's not a blow you away LMR, but it, it's it's useful. It's probably better than uh, his LM1 at least. And what's nice about this is, I mean, I don't think, I don't know of anybody that has legend dive Malik. So this would be your legend materia, right? Um, and it would work well on him, but still. Not really powerful enough for uh, for at least 30 second clearing Magisite. But when it comes to the 60 second clearing, he's powerful enough to get you there. He is a he is a fairly decent lightning mage in that regard. All right. Oh God, we have another. Um, still haven't switched banner format, so we have a four super soul break section, which means the first three are two percenters, while the last one is a one percenter like the rest of the banner. So we have Milia Duels Templar Robe. Uh, which is just an area of effect in Peril Earth. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, you know how good that is. Uh, she gets Gaia Cross and eventually uh, Earthbringer to use with it. Uh, Orlando's Super Soul Break, which is kind of weird. Kind of really powerful in uh, Jumpstart. Um, if you have other things for him. Uh, by itself, it's okay. I mean, zero cast time and it's cast two. We've seen it in uh, Noel's Death Blow. It can actually be semi-effective uh, just by itself, so it's kind of a Sid mission item. Yeah, I mean, I liked using Life Siphon and Full Charge on Noel. Uh, charging up at this and then insta-casting two full charges. And then doing it again. It, it was it was pretty powerful, but again, that's something I've only used in the submission. Uh, and next up we have Ovelia's Princess Prayer. This is a good Medica. I, this is the Medica I use on Ovelia, and I feel no need for another Medica in Final Fantasy Tactics. Um... And I feel the same way about Final Fantasy IV and Final Fantasy VIII, too, since I have the those versions for Selfie and Rosa. Um, yeah, but uh, this has appeared many places. It's been on every single Tactics Lucky that's ever existed. I think there's been a lot of those. So this is a very common relic, and I'm sure a lot of people don't want the dupe of it. Uh, and it is a 2 percenter, so good fucking luck. Uh, pardon my French. Uh, Twisted Headband. We have Malik Super Soul Break, 6 Area of Effect, Fire Dark Magic, and Enemy Attack and Resistance minus 40%. Yeah. You know. It's fine. It stacks, you know, with uh, the rest of the stuff he does. He can stack a lot of deb uh, debuffs, but he doesn't have support. And he doesn't have any really powerful ways to generate Soul Break, so it's kind of... Yeah. 
So, anyway, I'm glad that's a one percenter. I mean, to be quite honest, uh, none of this blows me away. The, none, this entire section of Super Soul Breaks isn't interesting, and none of the relics are elemental either, so there's... Honestly... Unless you actually just have no medica and tactics, there's no... No hits that I would give a shit about here. Uh, Button How, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, so that's the first banner. Uh, we're gonna call this the Rafa banner because she. Oh. <laughs> St. Thank you very much. The three month support. You're awesome. Uh, so let's move on to banner two, away from the Rafa banner. And here we get the Delito Velia banner. Let's see if either of one of them gets knocked off, just like uh, Millie Duel and Malik did. Uh, Delita's USB zero. That's a just a typo. I, I, I guess we don't care how many hits. We obviously know it's uh, it's ten. <laughs> I don't have to go and look at it. A uh, three month club is very very significant because that is as long as that I've been affiliated so three months means you've been in here since the beginning zero hit yeah yeah it's ten it has to be uh, holy fire uh, lightning ice physical damage uh, career summoner must have been drunk <laughs> when he made this one um, I don't I don't blame him because he does a lot of work for the community uh, with increased multiplier against weakness and peril uh, Self-attack, plus 30%. Uh, actually, I want to look at this because this is a lot of stuff that is probably hidden behind unique uh, identifiers. And that's important to note. Whoa. I'm drunk too. Oh, grants Bushido to the user. Interesting. Uh, that's the same buff that came on uh, Oron's BSB1, and it's actually nice. Uh, so he gets a higher multiplier when exploiting elemental weakness. 10 attacks, so he'll have a 7.7 .7 of exploiting elemental. Eh. Uh, it's it's good-ish. But it's... No, it's not even that good. Um, it's kind of... It's kind of Delita's uh, M.O., really. Uh, he gets bonuses. It, it sounds like bonuses, except that it just makes it as powerful as it should be instead of as weak as it would be otherwise. Um, so it's kind of like those stores that, uh, that just increase the prices of stuff on the price tags and then put it on sale to make it look like it, you know, it costs less than it should be when it's just normal priced. Um... Grants Bushido to the user for 25 seconds and grants Instacast 2. So this is uh, this is a good start because Bushido is a powerful status. And we're going to go find out in a second. I do like Delita too. Oh, no, no. Well, I, I don't say poor Delita. Because this is good. It's good. Like, just because of the, that multiplier bungle doesn't mean anything here. We got attack plus 30%, resistance plus 25%, and critical chance 50%. And remember what makes Delita's BSB shine. I uh, remember he gets instant cast 2 as well. So, what happens here is Hero King. Uh, critical hits deal 100% more damage instead of 50%, and grants haste and burst mode to the user. And that that same that, that same effect applies to his commands as well. So he's actually dealing 100% uh, more damage when he crits, just like Refia. Um, I mean, and this is where it gets interesting because yeah, just like Refia, and all Refia needs to do that is have her BSB, and she gets the same effect that Delita has with two. 
but Delita does have a very important advantage going for him, and that is he's tri or quadra elemental, um, and that's that's awesome. It really is. Uh, all this together makes him a really potent magicite character uh, because he is quadra elemental, and he can do all four of those elements really well just by having these two things. The issue there is you need to have both of these. Um, otherwise, he drops off a lot, because with just his USB, uh, then all you're looking at is a personal 50% uh, crit buff, and you can only use that with the Soul Blades, of it, or <laughs> Spell Blades, uh, available to him. Which uh, would be Water, which he... I guess he cares about, but he doesn't get that on his entry, so it's going to be a weak entry. Uh, but it's more the um, the fire, the lightning, and the ice, uh, because he can fire and lightning or five star spell blades and snow spell strike for the ice spell blade. So with his USB, he can be competent versus um, three different magicite dungeons. Uh, but with his USB and BSB together, he can be uh, really quite excellent against four, uh, one of which is not released yet. So, that's uh, something to think about. And the Instacast 2 is no, no laughing matter. Does this USB work with the BSB? What, what do you mean? I mean... Wow. Thank you very much for the host, MTG New York Girl. This is a short stream of yours. Uh, welcome all of uh, MTG's viewers. <laughs> How is everybody tonight? Uh, for all of my viewers, uh, MTG New York Girl is someone I, I do a lot of stuff with, play a lot of games with, and uh, she plays a lot of Hearthstone Arena. Ah, oh, okay, you're back, okay. Well, thank you for the host in the meantime. And um, you should definitely all go check her out. Because she's a really awesome streamer, and I have a lot of fun watching. And uh, I think you guys would too. Oh, basically, what are the BSB commands? Oh, uh, one uh, command is two of the elements, while the other command is the other two elements. And each of them deal more, more damage, like 50% more damage, um, than normal um, when you get a critical hit. So it really, it works very well together with his USB. They're meant to go together. So if you do have his USB, uh, it would be an interesting pull to get his USB as well. However, his BSB is also on the banner. <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard some things about Hearthstone Arena and I feel like... Um, or I've heard they they're probably they're looking to fix some cards in it just to make it a little less uh, you know based on the bombs. Anyway, I'm gonna get uh, get back to this. Uh, we got Ovelia's USB, which is zero cast time. Always like that. Uh, Medica, Kiraga, Medica, and party resistance 100% and last stand. Uh, Chain Affinity says, I feel the ability to self-buff the Magicite is of great value along with this uh, quad element. Uh, I think Delita is a pretty good contender. I, I do believe so too, but it, he needs both of these. Uh, his USB and BSB. His USB alone is okay. It's, uh, it's good. It's good. But he actually just becomes acceptably powerful with both of them together. Someone I would be glad to entrust Bot for many different elements. Um, so this is it. This is just a good USB for a healer. It's nothing that's going to blow you away. Last Stand is always going to be useful. Um, but USBs for healers at this point are... There's a just a new tier for them. Really, there, there is. Um, and they belong to Realm and Aphmau. 
this is not one of those. This is just a really competent USB. So it's it's not bad. And I really, I guess we could apply that to everything Ovelia does. Uh, even her BSB is just, okay, I do healing things and I self buff my mind and I can instant cast a Kiraja on my command, but um, my command one and I have a Medica command, so I'm, a, I'm just a good healer. Um, she's just a good healer. In a world where there's a lot of good healers and some really, really, like, e extraordinary healers. Um, so that's why I kind of, kind of shy away from stuff like this, because, I don't know, I... It's a failing of mine, I want to aim higher. Uh, anyway, whatever. We have, uh, the BSB section next. We have, uh, Delita, Ovelia, and Mastadia. Uh, Delita's Rune Blade. We go, went over this a little bit when I talked about his USB. Um, yeah, I'd put her in B. She would be a B tier healer. Uh, eight single target, random, holy fire, lightning, ice. Those are his four elements. Uh, physical damage and high critical. This means he does 200% damage with his critical attacks instead of 100%. Or 150%. Uh, and the same thing applies to his commands. So he's got the four elements, four single target holy fire, four single target lightning ice, and high critical. So he really, really relies on having critical status. Uh, or having a, a, a crit rate buff, which would be, you know, Echo or Cloud USB. When are you going to update the tier list? Um, that's a good question, Adia, and I don't mind answering that now because... Yeah, this is a good time to answer it. I'd, I'd like to answer it again. Um, but the the tier list is the largest undertaking, undertaking that I have ever made uh, for Record Keeper. It took more time than anything that I've done, even like preparing for festivals and doing like uh, banner breakdowns for it. It, it really, really... Uh, it really got me and took a lot of time off my hands. Uh, and that's not something I have time for anymore. Um, the only way that I would be able to do that is, uh, is if I had a lot of support from people for it. Um, I'm probably going to put up a donation goal, uh, a very high donation goal, that if it is hit, then I will go into a comprehensive tier listing of every, every, of every character in the game up until where JP is and not just here. Um, I didn't completely do that last time. I started out trying to stick to global only, but I think we should use our foresight to its fullest and uh, and go all the way. It, that's the that's the primary purpose of them, Jimbo. <laughs> that is the primary purpose of them. Uh, was the discussion and me posting the videos with the discussions. I, I like the fact that what I did, I posted um, a video of each discussion we had for each of the, the character classes that I, you know, designated. And I also posted the tier list themselves. The discussions themselves got a lot of hits. Um, and that Are makes me on? happy.
single target, holy non-elemental white magic damage. So this is a waste. Yeah, this rarely does anything useful for you. And it pulls away from the strength of the rest of the Medica. And we see it here. We have a H6, H55 Medica instead of a, you know, the H80. So it's uh, weaker than normal. Um, the self mine 60 or 30% buff is actually kind of nice. Uh, we also see that on, on Vanille's first soul break, which is really cool because um, it really makes our Medica command quite strong. Are we getting song requests yet? Yeah, we are. All right. Prevent my playlist from going in, guys. Oh, yeah, we have to prevent my playlist from kicking in because that was probably a shit. That's all going to get muted out, isn't it? You tried to warn me too, Solus, and I ignored you. Music's loud? It's not displaying as being loud. It seems quiet. Anyway, I gotta move on. Uh, burst commands are normal burst commands, zero cast time Kirasha, and regular Medica, which is nice. Yeah, that's all, really, all you're really looking for. I mean, we would like better. There's people with better. I prefer an, a zero cast time Kiraga with an added benefit, kind of like Mog's BSB uh, with a heavy regen on it. Um, but zero cast time Kiraga is fine, especially because she gets plus 30% mind on cast, which means she's going to be healing for a, a metric ton. It's pretty louder. It, it, I don't know. I don't know what's be what would be causing that. It is coming in is so quiet on OBS. And there's nothing I can do to fix it if it's loud for you. Um, Mustadio BSB uh, is bad. Uh, this is just not elemental debuffing. Uh, a single target, random range, uh, physical damage, uh, enemy attack magic, minus 40%. This is good uh, in places where it doesn't really matter. Uh, except in, you know, the Final Fantasy T Tactics Torment. And, or, I mean, the real problem here is the fact that it's not elemental. And he gets Instacast Machinist too, which is which is great when it appears on stuff like uh, Prompto and Laguna's bursts, uh, because they're elemental. With uh, Laguna being uh, or Laguna and Prompto both being lightning, and Machinist get a very powerful um, lightning ability. And I believe, yeah, whatever. Um, so what does he do? He does not elemental damage for his entry, does not elemental damage for this command, and then starts doing elemental damage? Uh, it really just... it's not powerful enough. It's not powerful enough. Um, it's really just a, a confused burst that came out before the good ones. Uh, Laguna, and then Prompto. Uh, I have it, and I have used it once. Uh, I used it in the uh, D300 uh, Torment CM for Final Fantasy Tactics. That was the only time I've ever used it, and uh, I'm not happy to have it. I pulled it on a lucky draw that I shouldn't have pulled on. Uh, we have Delita and Ovelia's Legend Materials here, up to medium attack, uh, up based on number of spell light abilities used. Uh, everybody know, knows how I feel about these. They're bad. Um, it just takes too long. It takes too long for it to matter, and the attack up uh, has has a soft cap applied to it anyway. Uh, I really would just prefer give up to medium damage up, based on number of spell blade used, uh, not attack, because attack will have diminishing returns at some point. So I don't like this. Um, and while, uh, like someone mentioned earlier, that self-buffing in Magisite buff, uh, dungeons is good, so this could potentially be good, 
you also want to work quickly in Magicite Dungeons, so you're just working against, against yourself by having uh, something that uh, is a progressive buff like this. Yeah, you can't play, you can't play copyright songs while I'm doing a, a stuff that is going to be a VOD. Um, so Avelia does get a 25% chance to dual cast white magic abilities, which is pretty cool, uh, but. <laughs> Oh. Machio, thank you very much for the sub. You've joined September. My uh, my emote for the 499s here right now is uh, still in the process of getting approved. And it's actually just a fat chocobo right now, but I mean, fat chocobo is awesome, so that's cool. Um, I'm in the works or in the process of getting a uh, a better emote created, a little more on theme with the channel. You have stolen my heart. Every sub has. Every sub has. Um, so, I guess this is really kind of on theme with Ovelia is just being a above average competent healer, just not an amazing one. Um, so these are two misses. I, well, no, this is not a miss. Uh, this is not a miss. Uh, this is though. Because I honestly, I think I'd rather delete his increased damage. Oh, thank you. Um, I think his uh, his LM1 is better than this LMR, just because the increased Spellblade damage is always going to be in effect um, during the parts of the fight where it matters. Okay, and the Super Soul Break section, oh, we got Shout. Maybe I should pull on this banner. I can guarantee myself that I would miss one of the Super Soul Breaks. That's like moving 2% towards the top of the banner, right? Um... But then I'd probably just get Mastadio's Heart Piercer instead. Anyway, so Shout's here. It's a good super. If you don't have it, you want it. Uh, I'm not 100 gemming either of these banners. Oh, I might do the first banner. This is my last set of 100 gems before I run out and can't do it anymore. So I kind of have to be a little more... I just have to show discretion. But anyway, uh... Mithril Gun has a chance to instantly KO someone. I've uh, actually used this to wake someone up from sleep and confuse before, and just kill them outright. <laughs> Oops. Um, the Hyper Break is fine. Uh, this is a good Sid Mission Super Soul Break. Um, Musadio just kind of has that going for him. He's the Sid Mission guy. And not much else. Uh, Rafa's Super Soul Break Wizard Robe. Six area of effect. Oh. Paranoid, thank you very much. Like, you guys are awesome. Like, there's been so many subs within the past two days, I'm really overwhelmed by it. Um... God, thanks Twitch for running this promotion. Um, uh, yeah, so back where I was at. Uh, Ref is Wizard Robe, Super Soul Break, 6 area of effect, Fire and Elemental, Party Hasting, Self Quick Cast Magic 2. Yeah, whatever. It's it's complimentary. Uh, yeah. For a good character. It's just, uh, 
Why is it on this banner? Um, Are you drunk? It doesn't have any reason to be here. Not drunk enough. Ari Happy Hack Gem de Yuko to LL Probably Jet this next month so SO choose wisely. Oh, she Sharp missed... Charity. Yes, she got it. Thank you, Cup Noodles. Q Jeffner. He's hurt. Was that 181? God, it's so small on my screen. Yeah. He's within striking distance. Charity. Rosa, you're adorable. Um. <laughs> yeah, and that. That was tough. Stuff for it to get through. Uh, Delita's Super Soul Break here is probably the best on the banner. Um, well, besides Rams' Shout. So, I guess not best. Uh, anyway, the Coral Sword is really cool. Um, I don't really care at all about the Super Soul Break itself, but the sword is a plus lightning damage sword. 20%. Not drunk enough. Soulless retakes. Sharp the pit charity me thumb. Um, and if anybody who's been, you know, running these elemental dungeons that we got right now, called the Magicite Dungeons, knows that, uh, yeah, all the Triscuit, bit, triscuit bits. I've got quite a few, too. Um, uh, plus, like, elemental weapons and armor are, like, the shit right now. They're, they are the shit, because th what they provide to a team or like to a character is just so much more than the attack statistic and since you can usually make a case that uh, re realm synergy things could be more effective than the 20% uh, elemental damage uh, when you don't have realm synergy it becomes a lot harder to make that decision so you either rely on um, extremely well augmented 6 star relics or elemental relics so these are very valuable to a team it's alright, Solus. You got 400 health this time. So you're in uh, prime position to, to keep that for a while. Um, so that's the second banner. Uh, what do I think about both of these banners? I don't think that the second is worth going after. Um, uh, each of these banners follows a theme. A very, very powerful theme. Uh, as far as, like, you know, pulling concerns. Uh, Delita is a good character on this banner. banner. Uh, his USB and BSB two, or his BSB together, are very, very good. Um, and there's really not much else that's of of all that much worth here. Uh, Alvelia is just a a standardish healer. There's not a whole lot going on in the Super Soul Break section more than the first banner though uh, but the first banner has a little advantage here and that's uh, Rafa can be a effective member of Magicite team of a Magicite team um, with just her BSB or just her USB she doesn't need both and Delita needs both and in a game is so gotcha dependent because you know it's a gotcha game that's how they're played um, Getting two relics to be good is uh, is rough. Gutsy, uh, absolutely the 131 elemental boost. Rafa, Rafa's just a better character than anybody that appears. Yeah, not always, not always. But in most situations, yes. Um, I I really like the first banner. If Magicite wasn't just such a prominent part of what we're looking at right now, as far as difficulty is concerned, and knowing that you know we get more Magicite dungeons in the future that have the same uh, restriction on debuffing means like even for now and in the future and for the hardest content in the game 
uh, some of the stuff just doesn't stack up. So it's hard to suggest either of these banners. Um, it's just Rafa is so good and Delete is so good just under the right circumstances. Rafa is easier to create, but she's only single elemental. While uh, Delita is harder to create, but quad elemental. Uh, I agree, Will. I think that's a good summation. Um, Will says, I've got her BSB and I just want more stuff for her because she's, she's fantastic. But the banner isn't built like we want it to be nowadays. Well, that's the problem, Life. Um, Delita's BSB is not good on its own. It needs the right buffs. So it lags behind other things that don't need the right buffs to be good. It increases your ability to team build properly. A delete is not even close to Barks, no. Yeah, well, they could put some interesting stuff on the tactics banner. Yeah, Cloud, and eventually Orlando. <laughs> that was disconcerting. Rafa's BSB is on the gem banner uh, as a choice. I won't be taking it. Um, really, the I think the things that stick out the most to me on the gem banner would be Zell's BSB. Um, what else? I know there was one other thing that was really... Im Celeste BSB 1, maybe. I feel like if I was going to pull on a gem-only banner, it better damn well be something that contributes to a 30-second clear in Magicite. And I don't think Celeste's BSB one. Therians is good. That's true. Uh, yeah, I can get you a link for the gem banner. 